All right, so we're gonna advance to the next level as a ranger, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. Um, all right, so there's a few skills that obviously I'm putting off. You know, if I have extra points, I'll put into those. But the main thing I want to do is again, we want to level uh, our main rogue skills, just max out their ranks. Right now, it's level eight uh, rank, so we'll get those maxed out. Those are two really good ones. We'll get a uh, disabled device. It's a very important one. Um, I would say UMD would be another really important one. Um, open lock. And then. Uh, then we got three points to spend, so it's kind of like, okay, now what? So these are all cross class skills. I was thinking maybe we should go with a hide and move silently a rank. And, and then maybe um, I think I picked jump last time we did this, so I think we'll do jump again, and we'll call that good. I don't want to probably go more than like ten ranks and jump if I start running out of points to spend, because um, I do want to get concentration and, and heal up some. And like I said, I may end up throwing a few more rogue levels into this build. So I really don't need 18 levels of ranger. I think 15 levels of ranger is kind of a sweet spot. You get, you know, four different uh, spells to choose from. You get level four, one, two, three, and four spells. You get a few of each, um, and that's a good. I, I'd like to have like that whole array of spells to choose from, but level 18. I think by the time you get to level 18, the only thing you get is a favorite enemy, like one more favorite enemy, and like hiding in plain sight, which is. It can be good, but it's not super important, and that's only 17 levels of Ranger, so... Anyway, enough of that. We took another level, so we got this, we got this, looks good. Yeah, we'll save one up a point. Hey, yay! We also now have Die Hard, so if I get incapacitated, like, knock down to zero, or, like, a couple... I think negative ten is dead, so, like, if I'm at negative five or something like that, I actually can, um, stabilize, and then gradually get my hit points back. The only problem is, if I get hit during that situation, I'll still die. So, you know, uh, so basically, you, you just don't want to go below negative 10. If you get knocked down, it, I think it, like, restores hit points, like, one hit point every, like, so many seconds, like, every five seconds or something. It's a pretty nice little feat, though, for a survival character. We also have our third tier wilderness lore. That's cool. Let's go ahead and take that. The other nice thing is, is now we can use level 5 gear, which is better uh, than our level 4 gear. And most gear, if you've noticed, as I'm leveling, weapons generally stay even number. Like, that's a level 2 bow I have. Where, um, like, we'll say, like, an armor does the same thing. Weapons and armor. I'm trying to find... Okay, Gravenox Band is a rare one. But, like, the Fortified Ring, that's, like, level 1. Then you'll see those, like, a level 3... I'm going to say odd number. Same with these gloves. Uh, these boots. You'll see that's like level 3. So now we can wear level 5. So that'll be nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to uh, the catacombs. This is um, Catacombs Friar Renault. Um, we got to find a location of a girl named Marguerite. And uh, so we've got to go into the catacombs. And if you look on our map here, the yellow door is the one you're looking for. This is a spiral, so we need to kind of go up and down. I think first off, the first quest, we go down here. And you can see it's lit up on our map here. This is kind of a confusing quest. It's not so bad when you're running it by yourself, but if you're in a party, you can actually uh, get out of sync with other players in the party. Uh, because of the way the, the quests are designed, because you basically do the quest, leave the quest, run upstairs, talk to an NPC, come back downstairs, do another quest, go back upstairs, talk to an NPC, and it keeps advancing the quest, and there are these little chapters to the quest, basically. It's a, it's a chain with um, specific spots where the whole chain advances, and if you're not all together going into the quest together and getting the advancement to the chain and the dialogue options, you know, basically around the same time, you can kind of desync yourself, and then uh, you'll you'll have a player that will be out of sync and won't be able to uh, advance to the next quest. 
until you all run a quest that you've already done before. So bear that in mind. I've seen it happen before. Hopefully they've fixed that over the years. I don't know, but I think it's still a case. So anyway, the Friar's Niece, level three. The Sanctuary. You know who we have. Gromisk as Axhead. <laughs> Gromisk. Hoit, 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 hoit. I like him. He's cool. Yeah, he's a kill stealer for sure. All right, so let's get our uh, little buff here. The sanctuary is quiet, save for distant scratching sounds. The smell of blood hangs thick. Something awful Whoa. has happened here. Whoa, like <laughs> locked and barred from the inside. So uh, like the, the DM through. best to search elsewhere. The DM said there's something uh, something awful happened here. Like what the lag monster does that just came to visit? Because that's about what that's what it felt like. Like I was swinging, uh, shooting my bow, and it just you know I pressed to go. You know, look to the left like 90 degrees, and it, I did it like the a western 180. the cells, blood and bodies are everywhere, as are webs. Perhaps spiders are <clears throat> responsible for the slaughter. No, don't kill Steely Punk. Stop it. Oh, by the way, a uh, little guild message of the day changed. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we'll put our combat log up so we can uh, see what's going Rows on Rows of cells lie ahead. You should look in them for signs of Marguerite. Promise. <laughs> Stop! Killing everything, you bastard! Oh, whoa, 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 Mister, get out of there! All right, I just—I don't want him running in. There's gonna be traps and stuff. We don't know. Aha! Look at that. That's some that's some good shooting there. The markings I rolled on a two this lever hit. indicate that it controls the gates of the sanctuary's north wing. The rattle of a portcullis echoes up the passage. Almost you got to work on your hit points, man. What level are you now? <laughs> you should level with me. They should have come up with a concept like that for this game, where the you get a hireling and it levels with you, like a favorite hireling or something. <laughs> All right. I know there has to be some kind of secret trappity trap around here somewhere. Oh. Aha! Collectible. I, I just give up, man. If that guy's even near anything I want to kill, he's gonna—he's just gonna kill it before I get to it. All right, let's try to pick this lock with our crappy lock picks that we have from Corthos. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's it for here. Well, on, Gramisk, let's go. <laughs> oh wait, I missed the door. Two doors. Mm -hmm. oh, once again, nothing. Okay. That there's a locked door as well, or a gate, I should say. I wonder what is down there. See down below here. There is more bloodshed in the north wing, along with something else. The faint tang of decay in the air. Tang. Hmm. So there's astronauts in here. Wah! Is that an astronaut? Eight-legged astronaut! Keep your vile tang away from me!
The stench of corruption grows stronger. Maybe the spiders didn't kill these people after all. Maybe it was something else. Nah, it was the spiders. It was the spiders. Tr trust me, it was the spiders that did it. Uh, yeah, creepy crawlies and they're everywhere. Hey, Gromus. Um, I thought you wanted to kill stuff. <laughs> Gromus just kind of bugged out there. Now he's moving. Well, expeditious retreat, come back. This is really nothing at all in any of these. I say we pick this lock. Wow, that's nasty. Yeah, deal with that critical punk. That wasn't Gromus, that was me. 37 on the crit. I gotta be careful of the next quest in here, uh, in this chain, because, uh,. I'm pretty sure it has like a lot of loot, so I'm gonna have to like go through my inventory and kind of go, okay, what don't we carry? And I'm gonna have to make room for a lot of stuff. I seem to think there's like a lot of chests in, in one of these or a couple of these in this chain. This is a pay-to-play area, by the way. This isn't uh, something that you uh, get in the free-to-play version of the game. So unless unless you have turbine points to spend, you know, you'd have to basically spend your money to access. Um, this this quest. I'm not sure if we've. I haven't really been paying attention, you know, which which quest we've done as far as like, you know, at least consciously thinking about like, you know, which ones are. There's something play on the floor in this cell. A rag paper note hastily scrawled upon and left amid the carnage. Well, that's all right. We can just leave that there. We don't need a a note. Who cares about notes? A handwritten note lies here. Its ink still wet. <laughs> Read the note. Father, they walk again. I have gone below, Marguerite. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are you doing out there? Crap! They just shot Beth in the head. No, Beth. Why would they? Why would they let that Beth get shot in the head, man? Like, why would that happen? Freaking, no, Beth. <laughs> she was a cool character, man. Why did they have to kill her? She was like the little. She was like the blonde-haired elf girl, she was like the elf maiden of, of uh, Walking Dead. That it? Anybody else want to get up and try to attack me? Huh? Huh? I was just thinking, Walking Dead. When I read that note, it was just sounded like a, you know, some kind of <laughs> part of like an episode of Walking Dead. They walk again. Leaving notes, kind of like Maggie did, like leaving notes along the railroad track. Alrighty, well. Looks like we got all that done, I guess. So now we go out and go on to the next quest. <gasps> What's this here? I have mail. Must hit some favor. All right. Well, I'm curious. Let's check our compendium real quick. So if we look at our total, 499. Hmm. This must be some kind of other mail I've received. I don't really hit any favor. Alright, so this quest will tell me to go out and I think talk to Brother Reynold. So if we look at our... this by level. If we look at our level 3 quest, we had just done Fire's Knees. And we click that and it'll say Marketplace. Yeah, so we need to go back out to the Marketplace. 
And we'll talk to him. Friar Renault. You found our Marguerite? She was there? Well, I, I found a note from, uh, from her addressed to her father. Everyone else was killed by the undead. <laughs> How is this possible? Well, you know, it is Dungeons and Dragons, you know, I mean, it was just kind of goes with the territory. You know, things like this tend to happen, go hand in hand. You got a place where you inter uh, dead bodies and crypts, and they call the catacombs, and there's probably going to be some necromancer coming along, raising up from the dead to do his experiments. That's all I got to say. That's all I'm saying. Why can't you go yourself? <laughs> All right, I'll go for him. <laughs> oh, ooh, that was weird. I saw one thing and then I was like, "Hey, I wonder if this will keep loading more I items." Can I double click any one item to get more than one item? Um, hmm. I think heroic deeds this time. So we need to go talk to uh, Dryden, I guess. Anyway, that's part one. Um, stay tuned and we'll pick, up, pick this back up with part two.